I recently moved into a new studio apartment and since the start of the academic year it has been just me and when moving in I got reminded of this book written by the I guess now somewhat infamous psychologist Jordan Peterson who proposes certain rules for life and one of the rules for life he proposes states make one room in your house as beautiful as possible which is a meditation on the ability of art to remind us of the beauty we have forgotten to whatever that means but i thought it sounded cool and i mean who doesn't want to have an aesthetically pleasing room but then i remembered i only have one room which is kind of hard to always keep as beautiful and clean as possible making following this rule a bit harder. Didn't take those poor students into account now, did you, professor? But I also read another book called Breathe, a whatever buzzwordy title that does not have a lot to do with the actual story. Breathe by Rickson Gracie, a jiu-jitsu legend, actually. A part of his story talks about how his son passed away presumably due to a drug overdose. And to cope with the loss of his son, Rickson got inspired to make a shrine. Make an altar, you know, which he did in the form of a treehouse. And he did this in the name of his son. And uh, his philosophy behind this was to have a place, like a, like a clean, beautiful place that he made from scratch where he could go to and like be with his son, uh, whatever, emotionally, spiritually. But then to also leave these feelings behind there, you know, to not let his sadness and anger stay with him constantly in a haunting way. So as an ode, I guess, to these books that have inspired me, I promised myself I wouldn't like create a treehouse or a beautiful room. Because this is too much effort, come on, come on. But I, I did want to create an altar of some sorts. Um, but if you make an altar, however, you know, it's probably good to have some object or trinket. So when I looked in my cabinet, I saw this, you know, this fat smiling Buddha. A gift my mom gave me uh, some years back and it seemed fitting, you know, so I uh, proceeded to exploit my, uh, I guess, design skills and put this little corner together for the Buddha and make it look nice. So why do all this, uh, one might ask, and I'm not exactly sure yet, but it's something I can come home to. A place I can look at a few seconds and check in with myself and relax. I know it sounds silly, but I like it. 